Hey guys, what's up? Captain Paul here from Weapon Gaming, bringing you another gameplay commentary. Now you see in the background, that isn't Modern Warfare 3. That isn't Battlefield 3. Then what is it? It's the best Call of Duty of all time. It is COD 4. Now, that might have been a fucking annoying for you guys. But, let me get to it. Let me get why I'm talking about this. Mr. Nappy Boy 92 made a video about Modern Warfare 2. And in the video he states that Modern Warfare 2 was the best game out of the whole series. You know, he said it was like COD 4 on steroids. And when he said that, I felt like slapping him. I, I did. I felt like, are you stupid as shit? You know, are you? I don't know, maybe, because, I don't know, I, I think he's only a year younger than me, so he had to had play that game, it had, and I'm not one of those nostalgic people, because trust me, I love new games, don't get me wrong, but for you to even compare COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2, like, well, not compare, because you have to compare them, but Modern Warfare 2 is better than COD 4, ah, you just, ah, I just feel like slapping you, I, I just do, I feel like slapping you, beam it, like, just psh, psh, beat the shit out of you. Basically, Chris, I'll be Chris Brown, you'll be Rihanna. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, though, you know, he states that Modern Warfare 2, that, like, it wasn't simple, like, you think COD 4 was too simple, and that, like, like I stated before, he said it was basically uh, COD 4 on steroids, which, okay, this is my problem I have with that. You know, first off, Modern Warfare 2 had a shitload of issues. It did. Let's, let's not even bullshit each other, guys. Let's, let's just... Call for how it is. I know Modern Warfare 3 has its issues, and you might like Modern Warfare 2 better, which, you know, I think Modern Warfare 2 is better than Modern Warfare 3, personally, yeah, a little bit better. But, you know, Modern Warfare 2, compared to COD 4, it's not even its league. I, I don't believe it's not even the same league. And you're, you know, let, let's just be honest. Okay, let's go in the first, let's go in the first issue. Overpowered shit. One man army with danger close and noob tubes. How the developers didn't think people were going to abuse that is beyond me. Like, do they play their games? That's the question I've always asked and always wondered. Do they play their games? Or are they just like, oh, well, here we go. Throw it out there. Going to make money anyways. Because I don't think they play their games. I just don't. Because they wouldn't have known that that would have been an issue and that people would have abused that. You know? Also, another problem I had is they kept stopping power in the game and they took Juggernaut out. Those counteracted each other. It wasn't that big of a deal. It really wasn't. I, I love how people bitched about Juggernaut, but if you had stopping power on, it wasn't that big of a deal. It, it really wasn't. If you played the COD games before, yeah, it would take a few extra bullets to kill him. Like, you know, the only only game I saw that really an issue was with the MP40 Juggernaut in World at War. I, and even that, that, everyone used it. I could give a fuck less. It was fun to still play that game. Now, another problem I had with that was with the knifing system with Commando Pro because the knifing system in COD's always been kind of ridiculous let's just put it out it is that's the only reason Only Use Me Blade has those great videos is because you know the COD 4 I mean excuse me the Call of Duty knifing system has always sucked it's always been over dramatic and always could be able to lunge people five feet but let's put Commando Pro would make that 10 feet basically it, it was a stupid idea I, I can get what they were trying to do but they were I think they failed miserably they should have realized that that would have been abused Another issue I have with Modern Warfare 2 is the pro set, the pro perks, the second tier of perks. Now, I I can understand they're trying to change it up, switch it up, show something new. I get that. But why go why go away from something that was perfect as it was? You know, for example, they put in pro perks to increase the ADS. Like sleight of hand pro, quick draw pro, you know, slide, you know, slide, you know, slide hand pro and black ops, you know, uh, quick drop pro and Modern Warfare three. They put that in, and it started with Modern Warfare two. And if you can't wait for a second to aim down sight, then I don't know. You're just you're either I don't know. Because I'm not insulting anybody, but you should be able to just wait a second to aim down sight. It's like like in normal life, I couldn't just pull up a gun like really quick like that and aim accurately. No, I'd spray all over the place. You know, and that's why I'll give Battlefield 3 its props. I think it's way more realistic. It doesn't take... Sometimes with Battlefield 3, it's a little too long, I think, in my mind. But I'm just going to not get on to that topic. 
Now, another issue I had with this game was... Well, actually, no, no, let me go... Actually, fuck that. Let me go back to the faster ADS. Because Modern Warfare 2 introduced this fucking shitty system. It made quick scoping fucking retarded. COD 4, World at War, if you could quick scope, I gave you props. Because it was, like... It was amazing to watch those kill cams, I'll be honest with you. And I could quick scope a little bit in COD 4. I was not nowhere good as a lot of those guys who did those montages. I, I'll just say that now. Uh, but with this, anybody could pick up a sniper rifle. I could pick up an s- intervention with sleight of hand and go to town. I, I've done it in the past because like, I wanted to prove a point to somebody. And I, I gotta nuke that. It's not hard to quick scope. It's the it's one of the stupidest things I think they've done with this franchise is the quick scoping. Now, getting off that, you know another another huge issue I had in this game was it was um let me just put it this way they introduced kind of campyish maps I'd have to say they kind of started they started it wasn't completely bad because I, I there's a lot of Modern Warfare two maps I did like. But they started to go with that bigger type map feel, and like, uh, you know, like, you know, D-Rail, which I actually had fun playing D-Rail, but like Wasteland, they try to go with those like battlefield type maps, those bigger maps. And, you know, for a 6v6, you don't need a shitload of real estate, you know, and you even noticed it in the DLC in Modern Warfare 2, the maps just kept getting bigger. And it's like, you're first off, you're not battlefield. Don't try to be it. Be Call of Duty. Be close quarters. That's what Call of Duty's best at. You know, I, I don't know why people say, you know, I don't know why people use like, oh, well, you know, it's realistic. It's like, no, Call of Duty's always been like a close quarters match. Go back to the, like, COD 2. Go back to, you know, go back to earlier Call of Duty's. It's always been small maps. Why go away from that? I'm not saying make all the maps like fucking shipment on COD 4, but just stick with the smaller base maps, have higher traffic flow, because, you know, that's what that's the problem I have with the Call of Duty series in, like, my, my mind. It's just, they're trying to be something they're not. They're not big maps. They're making the maps too... And also, they're making these maps way too campy now. They're, it's like... Think about COD 4. Now, don't get me wrong. There was a place to camp. There's always going to be a place to camp in a video game. People will abuse that. But, Modern Warfare 2, like, like oh, second story, third story. You could just camp fucking galore. Get selectable kill streaks and shit. It was retarded. And that's another thing I thought was stupid. Why the fuck are you going to bring in goddamn selectable kill streaks with OP shit? You know, COD 4, it was, it was stackable. 3, 5, 7. Yes, it was stackable. But, it was only 3, 5, 7. It wasn't 5, 7, 9, or like, 7, 11, nuke. It, it wasn't stackable. It, it really wasn't. It wasn't that overpowered. <sighs> now, why do I believe COD 4 is the best game of all time and that Nappy Boy should just be slapped the shit out of for even saying Mono Warfare 2? It was simple. It was simple and it was perfect. It played it played the way a Call of Duty game, in my opinion, should have been played. Close quarters, rushing, having fun, and you know, sticking to what they've always done. Now I'm not saying for them to be on original, but you just gotta stick with what's good. Let's be honest. You know, the whole just basic perks, you ran around. Like, you know, let's be honest. You could run around in Call of Duty 4. I, I had fun every time. I never raged in Call of Duty 4. But I raged in Modern Warfare 2 sometimes. I wouldn't, like, I'm not like, you know, fat ass Wings of Redemption who, you know, th- breaks the TV and shit. But I'd be like, fuck! Like, I never really raged that much in Call of Duty Like, Modern Warfare 2 I did. It was just a bullshit game in a lot of aspects. Now, the only thing I will get Modern Warfare 2, it did run nicely. It, that that's the only thing I really can give it. It it ran nicely. That that's the only thing I can give it, guys. It was it did run pretty well, and you know it did feel nice. It was fluid. I'll give it that. I will give it that. I don't think it was a shit game. I think it was a good game, but it was nowhere near the best set of the whole series. COD Four was simple, simple perks. So that was perfect. Small maps. Stick to what it was good at, and it was fun to play. Now, don't get me wrong, COD 4 did have the N16 issue, but you couldn't shoot a million fucking three bursts like in Modern Warfare 2 with the FAMAS. It wasn't like that. It took it took a second to shoot the second burst, where the FAMAS didn't. You could just whore that. But, you know, guys, seriously, if you haven't played Call of Duty 4, if you're new to the COD, like, COD series, 
It will be hard to find, like play an unhacked game, but play it because I swear to God, you will not miss out. If you actually guys want to play with me, play some COD 4, I'll set up a private match. We can have some fun. I'll, I'm going to be honest with you. Give it a chance if you haven't played it. If you have played it, you do realize it's the best Call of Duty out there. So, you know, that's my little rant for this little video, guys. So, man, this is Captain Paul, Weapon Gaming. I'm signing out, bitches. Peace.